What is most unusual about uh, this particular one, I mean, the claim is that it belongs to the solar system, but it comes from a very large distance. Uh, um, you know, it's uh, coming from the edge of the Oort cloud, the, the, the outskirts of the solar system, and it's, uh, you know, it could be interstellar as well. It's on the borderline of being interstellar. because We can't really tell very clearly. Um, the point is that uh, such objects that, ha that come from far away uh, they could potentially be affected by along their path by perturbations uh, from the Jupiter, from other planets, and then if they are bound to the sun. However, it could also have originated in interstellar space. Uh, it's on the borderline, and we just don't have enough um, good information about its uh, uh, orbital parameters to tell. So I think that is extremely unusual that uh, we would have two, uh, two of these objects in the inner solar system that are potentially from interstellar space. And um, the, the, the other, uh, well, major difference is that um, it's almost perpendicular to the ecliptic plane. So it goes in a completely different uh, plane, orbital plane, than 3i Atlas. And perhaps um, th there is a reason for having two planes uh, being perpendicular to each other. So it's definitely worth monitoring and, and checking if there are any additional anomalies associated with it. Definitely. No. I'm very curious to know more about it. And now, yeah. uh, when it was uh, announced, I checked whether it could have originated from 3i Atlas because I thought maybe it's a piece of 3i Atlas, but it looks like the two never came close. Uh, and the, the, the orbital plane, uh, planes are perpendicular. And, you know, if you have a situation with technological device, uh, you would expect more than one. And very often uh, one is uh, used for uh, distracting attention from the other one. Uh, yes. And so th this happens quite a lot. Uh, so we should keep our eyes open and, and uh, get as much data on this one as well, I think. When three atlas came closest to the sun, you mean? Yeah. yeah, it will. Uh, three Atlas will get closest to Earth on December nineteenth. So I, I'm really hoping we will get uh, a lot of data in the coming month, uh, both from ground-based telescopes, because the International uh, Asteroid Warning Network um, uh, is coordinating a campaign between uh, uh, actually uh, tomorrow uh, and uh, the twenty seventh of January, and there will be hundreds of uh, telescopes around the globe looking at Three Atlas. So. Hopefully, we learn much more about it from this data, and the upcoming month should be quite exciting.